And welcome to German Jills. We have a game against uh, Northampton. And uh, I have to say now that I think that um, it's a bigger game for Northampton than it is for us. I think if Northampton lose today, they are out of the league and be relegated into League Two. Uh, because we're going to hit a good bit of form recently. But Jules, even though they ma mathematically have a possibility to get in the playoff, I do think it's highly unrealistic and unlikely. Uh, and we just want a really good, solid performance, a uh, few performances at end of the season. If we can put uh, Northampton down into League Two, then so be it. But the most important thing for me here is that we have a good performance and we are extremely competitive against a Northampton side who are really fighting for their lives at the moment. So let's see how this one unfolds. Sam was just released. Ogreed on the left-hand side is going to whip this in. Is anyone there to meet it? Oh, it's been poorly dealt with by Northampton. What a block from the Northampton defender. My goodness, talking about fighting for your lives. It was a really bad clearance for Northampton. And they uh, it only went out to the edge of the yard box. And it was another shot was taken. It's a fantastic block right on the floor from Northampton centre-back. As they're on the attack now, they've turned it into a counter. And they've got a free kick. Wow. That's the first decent chance of the game. We're only five minutes old into this game and I mean there were shouts of handball it was a really good pass by Samuel to release Ogilvy you put a low fizzing cross into the box and it was initially the defender oh, it's a good recovery there are shouts of handball but he kept his hands down to the side that's really well played from Northampton really fighting for their lives Jills could have gone one nil up but it remains nil nil Lee going to take the corner from the right hand side it's an outswinger is anyone going to meet on the end of the half is it going to go in surely yes and Jills have gone one nil up with Oliver missing the game at Peterborough, comes back fully freshed for the game against Northampton and takes the goal extremely well. It was a good outswinging corner from Lee. It was put across the face of goal and, um, and Oliver put it in the back of the net with the roof of it in the end. And Jills have taken a relatively early lead against a struggling Northampton team. Was not a bad ball in. It was well headed down and good finish by uh, Oliver, who's uh, had a collision with the post, shall we say there. But Jills have taken an early deal against Northampton. So it's Jills 1, Northampton Town 0. What a start. Jills trying to fashion an opportunity here as Lee has just released Dempsey, who's going to hopefully whip this in. Oh, that's interesting. Is it a call of handball? No, the ball is still active as Samuel takes the ball. Oh, and it's just gone past the far post. My goodness me. It looks like the keeper might have saved that. She's got a touch. But I again, Dominic Samuel, we've missed him so much this whole season. He comes out with these shots of ultimate surprise. I thought the attack was over. He's won the ball back fairly. And a snapshot there. And I think the keeper's made an excellent save low down to his right. Really good effort again from Jills. Long throw going to come from Jacko on the left-hand side. Here it comes. That's a pretty good one. Anyone got the end of it? Not as quite as they wanted to, but it's gone back to Jacko. Come on, get this in. Back to Dempsey. Dempsey looking probably going to shoot. Is he going to take a shot? It's not a bad effort. It's a comfortable save in the end for the goalkeeper, really. Dempsey's going to have to try and find the top corner there if he really wants to uh, try and find the goal. But don't disregard the goalkeeper there. He's made a really good save as Jill's looked to make another attack straight from this to Ollie Lee. And it's going to be cleared, no doubt. Still, a really good effort from uh, Dempsey right there. Oh, that's a terrible back pass. And Northampton straight through. And how on earth do you miss the target from there? You literally... We just literally put it on a platter for Northampton to equalise. And maybe this might be why you're in the relegation zone, I'm sorry to say. That was an absolute calamity at the back. Really poor back pass, really unsafe. And then you just got to hit the target, man. What? I mean, it's not even close. Sometimes you can forgive trying to find the corner, but what is that? Jesus Christ, Northampton should have taken a goal there and equalised, but nope. Northampton fans would be very upset about that. Still 1-0 to the Jills. Long ball for Northampton. They could get on the end of this. We don't deal with this, Jills. Bit ahead tennis at the moment. Not convincingly cleared away. As number 14 is looking to get possibly a shot away, which he does. That's a decent save from Bonham. I still think it was comfortable for Bonham to save, but he had to make it. Very similar to the Northampton goalkeeper save about 10 or 15 minutes ago. I think it was very... I think Bonham made it look very spectacular, but he had to do it. 
He had to do it. He would have seen it a bit late, but it was a decent save from Bonham in the end. It keeps Jules still in the lead. But Northampton starting to break into the game a bit more now. There's a bit of a counter-attack here for Northampton. It's pretty open down there. They've, pretty, they've got a lot of Northampton players. They're going to have a shot here. It's been gone away, and it's just gone past the left-hand post, Northampton. It was a bit of a... A bit of a decent counter attack. It was a, a good pressure from Jules, but they lost possession in the, in, the, in the Northampton half. And then the ball came racing forward. They spread the play out to the left hand side, and, and Northampton got a shot away from about 25 yards, maybe a bit further away. Bottom looked like he might have been beat. You just don't know, but they didn't hit the target. So we will never find out. But still, Jules won, Northampton Town nil. And that is the end of the first half. And Jules are winding up against Northampton Town. And uh, I must say, for about 35 minutes of this half, Jules on top and mostly in the Northampton half. And, uh, look, and, and, and this is when we got the goal. All over after 11 minutes. Uh, and then... And then after about 35 minutes, Northampton started to break into the game. They had a great opportunity when there was a poor back pass, I think, from Tucker, who then the player missed a one-on-one -on -one with uh, against Bonham, but oh, missed a target altogether. So Northampton should have equalised then. But then Northampton have been breaking their way into the game and showing that this lead is not safe and they will have a fight back in that second half. But as it currently stands, it's Gilligan 1, Northampton Town nil. And the Jills are out for the second half, and uh, we are underway as Jills are one up against Northampton. As you can see here as well, I'm on the, I'm on the camera trying to record something here. The, my front camera doesn't work annoyingly, so I have to do it like this. But just for all you people who are interested, I now have an Instagram account whereby you can look for German Jills on Instagram, and you can follow us there or follow me there for a little bit of my life and a bit of update for Jills as well this one will be predominantly in english language so don't worry too much about that come on jills let's get this win so jacko with the long throw very flat this one we're going to attack this one oliver there is trying to find a way in he's taking it right to the byline he's going to use jacko as support dempty is also available jacko goes alone as it comes in and heads down as it's, oh, it's just gone wide i didn't see the ball really and said it was wide of the post but it could have gone anywhere Really close opportunity there. I want to see that in the replay again because Jacko beat his first man there. Ball came in. And it was Samuel who tried to at the bottom left-hand corner but just couldn't quite make it. On another day that goes in the back of the net and Jills are really in the clear. Well, I'm going to whip this ball in. Is anyone going to be there? What a save from Bonham! My God! God, that might be one of the best saves he's made this season. I thought that was going straight in the bottom right-hand corner. Well, in the right-hand side of the goal. That was quite an unbelievable save. A cross, really, from nowhere. It was a decent cross from Northampton, actually. He found the space. Yeah, that's a lovely cross. A lovely header. But that is save of the season, ter save of the season territory from Bonham. He can be really happy with himself. He's put that around the right post. Still 1-0 Jills. As the corner comes in, and it's sort of headed wide. No, it's still alive. And I think it's over now. Oh, Jill's on the attack here. There's quite a few players forward. Only goes alone! <laughs> He's put it in the bottom left-hand corner! I had no hope he was going to find the goal on target, let alone find the back of the net. I thought the attack was over. I thought he was going to hush it out for a goal kick or might even got a corner out of it. But that is the... That's what happens if you get your shots on target. Sometimes they just go in and Jules go tuning up against the Northampton team who the last 10 or 15 minutes have been peppering the Jules goal. And I have to say... A very similar sort of goal when Samuel scored that at home ages ago against Blackpool. It's almost identical, apart from only Ali had a couple more players around him. But that is an absolutely exquisite finish, and Jill's go tune it up, and it's a big uphill struggle now for Northampton, and it looks like Jill's are going to take the three points here today, and it looks like also to me that, unfortunately, Northampton Town fans, this might be the, uh, this might be the time... Uh, where I think you will be relegated. Maybe not mathematically, but realistically. So anyway, Jills 2, Northampton 0. Free kick for Northampton being whipped into the left-hand side and sort of half-cleared by Jills. 
Northampton's got still an opportunity to whip this ball in, but they're looking to spread the play to the right-hand side. It's going to come in surely. Oh, he's going to take on the defence. Oh, and the shot comes away here. Oh, and it's cleared off the line, is it, by Cundy? My goodness me. Northampton couldn't buy a goal at the moment. The Jules defence is being so strong. I mean, I'm not sure if Bonham was beat. It was a corking of a shot from the Northampton player. The curling left foot. I think Bonham was beat, you know, and that was going in the goal. Good clearance, I think, by Cundit the bat there. And the corner is still active. We're going to watch this until the highlight goes. I think that's over now. No, it's not. As the active ball is still there, as it's whipped in. And it's cleared away from Ogilvy. Right, we'll end the highlight there. But still, great work from Northampton to try and find the way back into this game. Ball going to come in from the right-hand side from Northampton. Is anyone there to finish it for him? It is, and there it is. Now, Northampton have got one back, and it's the same sort of time, maybe a little bit later, than when Oxford got their goal back after Jules went 2-1 up. So, we need to learn from this, and we don't need to sit back. We need to go and get a third goal. Otherwise, Northampton are going to get back into this game. They, I'm surprised they hadn't scored yet. The Jules defence was going to break at some point. It was well taken down. It's a good first-time volley, and it was always going to go in at some point. Northampton have had so many opportunities this game and not taken any. It was inevitable they were going to take one. We need to be savvy and we need to now use game management to get through this. I do not want another Oxford. And Northampton have got a corner on the right-hand side. As it's been whipped in. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The Oxford thing is happening again. Jills are comfortably 2-0 up. And then Northampton have got a double fire. Quick. Two goals. And they're back on level terms. This is unbelievable from the Jill's defence at the moment. I mean, we've, in fairness, we've defended well all game. And then it's his last 15 minutes. No one's up there to challenge him. Bottoms in no man's land. Everyone's lost concentration. And that whole dominance we have, again, for the first 75 minutes, has fallen flat. And Northampton have got two goals back into this. It is unbelievable at the moment. We can't believe this is happening. And then, Oh! Oh my god, as I'm just giving the review there, McDonald nearly gets Jills back in front again. Oh my goodness me. That was a good response from the Jills, but I'm still fuming that it's too all. I mean, credit to Northampton for getting back into this game. They are fighting for their lives, but that is a fantastic effort from McDonald, who uh, generated a great save from the goalkeeper, and then the Jills now have a corner. It's Jills 2, Northampton 2. Northampton looking to get this ball in. Northampton looking at the team they're going to get in, the, get in the winner at this rate. They're passing it around really nicely. The substitutes have got loads of fresh legs on. They're outrunning Gillingham at the moment. As a shot comes in and it's a decent save from Bonham. Northampton are the team that if, they, if there's a team to win this at the moment, it's going to be Northampton. They have more fight at the moment. Jill's are knackered. Jill's are losing concentration. And it's a, except for Bonham there, who's made amends and made a decent save in the end. But the Jills are everywhere at the moment. They can't do it. They can't seem to be doing anything. They can't get the energy to do anything, both mentally and physically. And I thought it was gonna. And I thought that was clearly gonna go in to make it free to and get a deja vu of Oxford. My God, I can't believe this is happening to Jills again. Jills looking to get the attack here. Dempsey's moving forward. You've got to find something. You've got to create something. Come on, Sam has got a ball. Get that ball in, and he's in the post. My God, come on! Oh! Unbelievable, such a good shot from Samuel. The ball is still alive for Jills at the moment as Lee gets it to the right-hand side. I thought that was in. My goodness me. At least get a corner out of this, Lee. Get something. Is it? Oh, it comes in. It's anyone to me. It's the goalkeeper. My God, this game is end-to-end -end stuff as the ball's pumped forward from the goalkeeper as we watch the replay of Samuel's attempt. I thought that was nested in the top right-hand corner. And you know what? Another day it does. And maybe you know, Northampton have had that all day as well. Oh, what a shot. And it goes to show we have missed Samuel this season, to be fair. God, it's an exciting game now. I'm not enjoying it, though. Northampton need a score if they want to keep their hopes alive. And it's gone in and it's been tipped away. It's just a big, massive bombardment from Northampton at the moment. They really need this goal to stay alive. And it's the end of the game. And Gillingham, again, have just thrown away a two-goal lead to keep themselves in the playoff fight. And 
I mean, I, I don't know what this is. I wonder if it's to do with you know, the game at Peterborough. We played on Tuesday night. The team looked really tired the last 15 minutes. We were all up in Northampton's face for a lot of the game. And then Northampton brought on some substitutions, which seemed it just paid off because they had a big burst of energy and they got two quick goals. And ultimately, what it has led to is both teams being dissatisfied with the result. One team had to win it. Northampton had to win it to have a real good chance of getting out of the relegation zone. Jules had to win it to have any real chance of getting the playoffs, even though I don't think it was going to happen anyway. But the thing is, what I'm disappointed the most here is that... <laughs> We have thrown away another two-goal lead. Our game management at the moment, there was particularly the last few games, uh, well, it's bizarre because at Peterborough, we were great at it. And then in today, we were good at defending for a lot of the game, and then we just let lose concentration for 10 minutes, and then this happens. This is the kind of stuff that next season that we're going to have to try and avoid. Um, because if we're having things like this happen, then we're going to be nowhere near the playoff point next season. We need to be able to keep our composure for the whole game. If we take a two-goal lead with 10, 10, 15 minutes to go, we need to know that we're going to see this out. And if that doesn't happen, then we're going to have little chance of pushing this club forward into the playoff places for next season, even the season after. I think the players need to have a bit of a think about themselves about and, and to think about ways in which they can manage the game at the end, last 15 minutes of the game. Shields have scored a lot of last-minute goals this season. And... All of these now are starting to come back to haunt us a little bit. And just throwing away leads like this is not acceptable at all. Um, Northampton gave themselves a great opportunity in this game to get something from the game, which they did, but not all of it, which is what they, which both teams wanted. This is now, this is over. Uh, I don't care if people say, well, you're mathematically possible, it's over. You know, any hope that we had left, it's now over. Um, Gilles again performed great for 75 minutes and then it all just fell to pieces when Edmondson scored on the 79th and then Horseville scored on the 83rd. Both teams, not the result that we wanted for both teams and we go again next season. Looks like Northampton will go again in League 2 next season. Anyway guys, it was an exciting last 10 minutes. Thanks for watching and uh, on to the next game. Los Gates Gilles.